what's up YouTube, it's the Console Samurai. And like anything else in life, there are certain topics within gaming that are just, they're controversial, they're hot button topics. And whenever you talk about them, whether it be in a blog post, making a video, um, posting on a forum, writing an article, any anything, whatever, you're invariably going to piss people off. And oftentimes this can be both sides of the argument because one side will draw in the other side of the argument. Well, on Monday I had a video that actually touched on one of these topics. And not to rehash the entire video, but just to sum it up, it was about a group of feminists who are claiming that Legend of Zelda is sexist. Excuse me. Now, this video got a lot of attention, at least for the size of my channel. I'm a very small channel, and I got 13 comments on this video. And I'm not really one for making com or making videos based on reader com or me, viewer comments, but it was a lot for the size of my channel, especially given the fact that all of them were on the same side of the argument. All of them were against the idea of changing Link to satisfy feminists. Now, some of them were also about me. They said I should be ashamed of myself for being a dirty, fe uh, dirty social justice warrior and supporting the feminist agenda. One of them even called me politically correct, which I find hilarious because even though I don't really share my political opinions very much on this channel, because that's not really on topic, I've never been called politically correct. That's just not me. But I digress. But what really drew my attention is the fact that it does, it does show that Maybe I should have been more clear on Monday about where I actually stand on this argument. I tried to remain neutral, and apparently that was wrong. Um, I'm not a feminist. I'm not an anti-feminist. I'm not a feminist. In regards to this debate, uh, talking about Legend of Zelda, Link being made into a female, no, I disagree with that. I don't think that Link should be made into a female just because... A group of feminists claim that the game is sexist and that females need to be represented more in gaming. Do I disagree that females need to be represented more in gaming? No, I don't disagree with that. I'll come back to that in a minute. I don't think it makes sense to take an established male character and make him female just for the sake of representing women better. Because then you're taking one away from men. It, it doesn't really work. It doesn't really seem logical. I thought it would be an interesting idea just because it would be an interesting idea. We've seen Link and Zelda reincarnated how many times total? Individual ones. We had 18 or 19 of the Zelda games. Many of them were sequels. I don't know exactly how many Links there have been, but I do think it would be kind of an interesting twist to the formula we're familiar with to just see a female Link or to see Link and Zelda actually switch places for one game. It would be an interesting twist and it would be kind of fun to, to watch and play. That is the extent of where I think it is a good a good idea. As far as representation of women in gaming, it is true that women are underrepresented in gaming. If you look at the demographics, there are a lot more female gamers than female game characters, at least main female characters. And it is true. We could do with a few more. We could do with a good number of more uh, of new female main characters. Absolutely. But the idea here is that we don't need to take them away from the male characters. We don't need to forcibly change male characters into female characters just to make women be more, or be better represented in gaming when one thing we are really missing the last couple generations is a lot of really, really good games. A much better choice, rather than forcibly changing a character's gender or anything like that, would be to create more games. Create a good game with a female main character. Because that's one thing we want. Female main characters are not a new idea. It's, it's not a new idea at all. You look all the way back to the NES, you have Metroid. When you had the huge reveal where they didn't tell anyone who Samus was. All of a sudden at the end of the game, when you beat the game, holy shit, Samus is a woman? That is awesome. That was an awesome moment. And it should be remembered that that is not, that hasn't gone away. Samus hasn't dropped in popular, well, she has, but that's only because they've stopped making games. Tomb Raider, um, Mass Effect 3, these are all games that, just off the top of my head, that have female main characters, and we have more coming out in the future. We have more Tomb Raider games. We have Horizon Zero Dawn, which looks great and has a strong female character. We have ReCore, which looks good and has a strong female main character. This hasn't gone away, and it's not that gamers are against the idea of a female main character. 
Matter of fact, most gamers, like me, honestly don't give a shit if the main character is male or female. It doesn't affect our, our gameplay. It doesn't affect whether we enjoy the game or not. I really do feel like it is a better choice to just create more games, because that's what we need. We need more great games to be remembered. So if, if a demographic needs to be represented more in gaming, make a good game with that whatever demographic being represented better in that game and that solves all of the problems rather than forcing a change onto people who don't want it to be changed and there's really not a good argument for it to be changed do women need to be represented more in gaming sure absolutely that is true does that mean that males need to lose their characters to accommodate the feminists absolutely not because that is not a good solution but I realize that there's a good chance that I probably offended somebody with this video. If you are offended, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry for hurting your feelings. I'm not sorry for my opinion, but I'm sorry that you don't like it. Now, tell me what you think. What do you think about this whole si this whole situation of Link being changed into a girl? Do you think that it seems like a good idea because, hey, that could be fun, or because you think women need to be represented in gaming and that makes sense? Either way, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.